Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about solving rational equations. And we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, 1 over 2n squared plus 5 over 2n is equal to n minus 2 over n squared. But what I see here is I want to combine these two fractions, but they don't have the same base. Since they don't have the same base here, since they don't have the same base, I need to rewrite this 5 over n to n to have the same base. So I want to multiply it by n over n. n over n. Can I fit that in right there as the equal sign? Okay? And so in doing so, I have 1 over 2n squared plus 5n over 2n squared now is equal to n minus 2, uh, keep it like it's an exponent, over n squared. Now that the same base, I can combine the two, and I have 1 plus 5n it, uh, over 2n squared, which equals n minus 2 over 2 uh, over n squared. Excuse me, just n squared on the left, the right side, over n squared. Okay? So now what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 2n squared over 1, 2n squared over 1. That eliminates a 2n squared here, giving me 1 plus 5n. But then, just the square, the n squared part's eliminated, so I have the 2. I distribute the 2 across, and I have 2n minus 4 there. Okay, I distribute that 2 across. So now let's bring our like terms together, so I'm going to subtract 2n of both sides, and I'm going to subtract a 1 of both sides. That gives me 3n is equal to, right, uh, negative 4 minus 1 is negative, uh, negative 5. And then I'm going to divide by 3 to both sides. Giving me my final answer here, which is n, I'll write it right here, n equals negative 5 thirds. So we got a fraction here. So now we've got to check that fraction. Okay, let's go check our fraction. So we have our check here. I'll get back in. We have 1 over 2 times negative 5 thirds squared uh, plus, not equal to, plus 5 over 2 times negative 5 thirds is equal to negative 5 thirds minus 2 over uh, negative 5 thirds squared. And I ended up just not rewriting the equation, just plugging the uh, n value, or negative 5 thirds in for n from the beginning. Save some space here. So, let's do a simplify this out. We have 1 over 2 times negative 5 thirds squared is 20, uh, positive 25 over 9. Okay, plus here, 5 over again. Uh, distribute the 2 across, we have <coughs> 2 times 5 thirds, <coughs> uh, which is negative 10 thirds, which is equal to on the right hand side here, okay, right hand side, uh, negative 5 thirds minus 2. Well, minus 2 can be uh, the same thing as um, so 5 thirds here. Minus 2 we can write as a fraction, now the 3 as a base, so it's the same thing as minus uh, 6 thirds over negative 5 thirds squared, which is a positive 25 ninths. Okay, let's go practice our fractions here, okay? So let's multiply this out. We have 1 divided by 2 times 25 over uh, 9 is 50 over 9. Plus, here now, here's a little trick. 5 divided by, divided by a negative 10 thirds, and that comes out to be, in a sense, right? If you want to see, I'll do like one little example right here. Right, 5 really divided by negative 10 thirds is the same thing as 5 times negative 3 tenths. That helps me see that fraction right there is a negative 15 tenths right there. Okay, that is equal to, which I didn't give myself enough space here. So I have to kind of rewrite that. Sorry about that. So we have 1 over 50 uh, over 9 plus uh, we, what we found here to be a negative 15 over 10 is equal to, simplify this fraction, uh, 5 thirds, negative 5 thirds minus 6 thirds is negative 11 thirds over 25 ninths. Okay, so now we're going to keep on going, our fractions here, uh, using the same technique we did over there, uh, that 1 divided by 50 ninths, right, 1 divided by 50 ninths comes out to be 9 over 50, plus here, negative 15 over 10, is equal to, and now we can apply that technique right there. So if we have a negative 11 thirds divided by 25 ninths, we can flip that to be negative 11 thirds times 9 over 25. Okay, 3 cancels with the 9, gives me a 3 right there. Okay, and that kind of helps maybe see this a little bit, and it's a negative 33 
over 25. Okay, so how good are we at making our fractions here? Well, we can rewrite this against the same base, right? Multiply that by 5. Uh, and in doing so, we have 50 on the denominator, and we combine them, we have 9 plus what's negative 15 times 5. Negative 15 times 5 is 75, so negative 75 right there. Okay, negative 75, yeah, that's correct, that's correct. So negative 75 equals negative 33 over 25. Okay, I'm going to rewrite that right here because I really have no room now. Uh, 9 my, uh, plus a negative 75 is a negative 66. Hopefully we can see this now, over 50, is equal to negative 33 over 25. Negative 66 divided by 50, we can uh, divide both by 2, give me negative 33 over 25, and that equals negative 33 over 25. Check, left and right are equal, we're good. Negative 5 thirds is our true final answer. Okay, so let's recap here. We're given our function, one, our equation 1 over 2n squared plus 5 over 2n equals n over n minus 2 over n squared. <coughs> I then had to make sure I had the same base here, so I multiply both of these by n over n, give me the same base, and I can combine them. After I combine them there, I multiply 2n squared of both sides, I eliminate the n squared on the right side and 2n squared on the left, give me 1 plus 5n equals 2n minus 4. I then brought my like terms together, subtracted 2n on both sides, subtracted 1 on both sides, give me 3n over 3 equals negative 5 over 3. I divided our uh, negative, sorry, 3n equals negative 5, and then divided 3 both sides, give me n equals negative 5 thirds. I then checked, I rewrote my uh, equation, plugging in n this time into it, and then simplified my fractions. Now, by simplifying, it took a, a sweet long time to make sure all my fractions were in line there without a calculator. And I eventually worked my way down, doing some you know, little tricks there and stuff, to get that negative 133 is equal to 25, or negative, 20, negative 33 over 25 is equal to negative 33 over 25. Left and right were equal. Then confirming my final answer being n equals negative 5 thirds.